How SpaceX Drone Ship Works A Shortfall of Gravitas Elon Musk has an unquenchable desire to make humans and interplanetary species between Earth and other planets in space, and he has to improvise any form of technology that will make his dream come true, whilst also putting service cost into consideration. After several attempts that eventually ended in explosions, SpaceX was finally successful in landing their first rocket in 2015, and that generated a lot of positive energy between SpaceX fans. The company was on a quest to rescue the majority of its Falcon 9 rockets after they took off and land without exploding during the testing stage. Now, the issue is, why would SpaceX choose to install the ASDS on the ocean rather than anywhere else? You see, waves on the ocean will not allow the drone ship to stay stable. Instead, it will dance in whatever direction the sea waves toss it. It was tough for SpaceX to safely land rockets on firm ground, and how much more difficult would it be to land rockets on a floating drone ship? Though the company had success with the drone ship, another concern is whether it will be dependable for long-term usage despite its low cost. Let's get all of these thoughts ironed out in this video, then finally look at how SpaceX drone ship works. This is TechSpace. If you're new here, we specially invite you to join many of our lovely fans. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. It motivates us to produce more fantastic content like this, and you'll have a lifetime access to all of our high-end tech videos. Here's a first look at what the SpaceX drone ship is all about. The drone ship, abbreviated ASDS for Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship, is an ocean landing pad vessel constructed from a deck barge and retrofitted with station-keeping engines and a wide landing platform. A robot controls the vessel automatically, allowing it to function totally autonomously. SpaceX developed the drone ship landing in order to reduce fuel usage on each mission particularly in orbital launches, where the rocket has to set the payload in the correct trajectory with sufficient velocity to stay in orbit, after which the rocket must perform additional lateral maneuvers to return to the launch pad, which consumes a significant amount of fuel in addition to the declaration maneuvers required for the soft landing. This is what the drone ship landing was made for. It's needed for high-velocity missions depending on the rocket's velocity and the mass of its payload. There may not be enough fuel to get back to the launch pad, which will give them no choice other than losing the rocket, so bringing a drone ship away from land and out closer to the trajectory of the rocket can reduce the fuel required for landing, which may be the only option available for rocket recovery on certain missions. First things first, let's take a look at the names of the different types of drone ships SpaceX has developed and their operations. The different SpaceX drone ships have different names that are kind of similar to spaceships that appear in the culture series of science fiction novels by Ian M. Banks. The first drone ship that was developed is referred to as Just Read the Instructions. Just Read the Instructions is available in two barges. The first barge was known as the Marmac 300 and the second as the Marmac 303. These barges were developed as a refit for Pacific Ocean landings. From 2015 to 2019, the barges were based in the Port of Los Angeles in California, but in August 2019, it was relocated to the Gulf of Mexico, then later moved to Cape Canaveral in December 2019. The second is called Of Course I Still Love You. This particular name appears like Elon Musk is trying to depict someone confessing love to his lover. It actually sounds freaky funny. The barge Of Course I Still Love You was rebuilt for landings in the Atlantic Ocean. From December 2015 until June 2021, it was based at Port Canaveral, Florida. Of Course I Still Love You successfully served as a landing platform when the Falcon 9 rocket sent people into orbit on the crewed mission Launch America on May 30, 2020. SpaceX mentioned the final built SpaceX drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, in February 2018, and it considerably aided East Coast launches. On July 9, 2021, a short fall of Gravitas performed its initial sea testing, and Elon Musk published a brief video of the ship in action on Twitter. After completing the sea trials, it was towed by Finn Falgout from its construction port, Port Fortune, to its recovery base, Port Canaveral, arriving 15th of July 2021. Why SpaceX gave these drone ships funny names like these is what we don't really know. But come to think of it, the names are actually funny, and it doesn't really convey anything close to the technology. A shortfall of Gravitas is a significant improvement over the prior barges. During the mission launch video, 
SpaceX revealed that it improves on its predecessors by using a fully autonomous operating technique. That is, it can travel to sea, determine its location, receive the rocket, grab the rocket with the Octograbber robot, and return it to land all on its own. Previous ships necessitated the use of a tugboat to bring the ship out to the proper location. The tugboat was employed for the new ship's initial trip, with complete autonomy slated later. The Falcon 9 rocket launched a Dragon capsule, holding nearly 4,800 pounds of crew supplies and scientific research materials as it blasted out from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The booster successfully landed on the new ship, stationed in the Atlantic Ocean, just over seven minutes after liftoff. Musk's image, which shows the ship and booster on the sunlit water, was previously shared by SpaceX three days after the mission. That was early September 2021. SpaceX Director of Dragon Mission Management, Walker, expressed his happiness over this successful landing by saying, I'm really excited to see this vehicle come online and we really needed it. We needed a third vehicle to support the high launch cadence that we're seeing at SpaceX right now. In July, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk revealed some overhead footage of the new ship at sea. The latest SpaceX drone ship, like the other two in its fleet, was named after the late science fiction. It's an allusion to the spacecraft depicted in his culture novels. The new ship does not require the help of a tugboat to cross the Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. And Walker also made it clear in details when he said, so it was designed and built to travel out to sea, find its position, receive the rocket, and then actually secure the rocket to the ship all robotically. The Octograbber robot then secures the rocket booster's four landing legs to the ship, following which the ship returns to Port Canaveral, where the boosters will be offloaded, repaired, and launched on another mission. Walker even assured that the process was completely autonomous, which is a huge upgrade and another fantastic feat in SpaceX's history. Of course, you and I would both agree that this is the first time in history that something like this technological concept has existed. So Elon's drone ship innovation set another record. Walker also acknowledged this victory when he exclaims that refurbishment is very important to the company. You know, we think it's a critical breakthrough in technology to be able to refly our rockets and our spacecraft. Now let's get you to understand how SpaceX drone ship technology really works. The SpaceX C drone ships, commonly known as ASDS, are autonomous vessels capable of precise placement, which was initially believed to be within three meters, even in storm conditions. It makes use of GPS location data, as well as four diesel-powered azimuth thrusters. In addition to autonomous operation, the ships may be telerobotically operated, which means they will not be commanded externally, not even by a remote server. The azimuth thrusters are hydraulic propulsion outdrive units with modular diesel hydraulic drive power units made by Thrustmaster, a Texas-based maritime equipment manufacturer. The returning first stage must not only land inside the deck's surface boundaries, but also contend with ocean swells and GPS faults. To collect data on booster returns and landing attempts, SpaceX outfits the ships with a range of sensors and measuring gear, including commercial off-the-shelf GoPro cameras. At the center of the ASDS landing pads is a circle that encloses the SpaceX-styled X, in an X marks the spot landing point. A tug is utilized to move the ASDS to the ocean, and a support ship is stationed some distance away from the crewless ASDS. Following landing, technicians and engineers usually board the landing platform to secure the rocket's landing legs to safeguard the vehicle for transport back to port. The first stage is attached to the deck of the drone ship by steel hold downs welded to the landing legs' feet. This conventional way was used to control the landing of the first two drone ships. Of course, I still love you, and just read the instructions. Since a shortfall of gravitas is an improvement of existing barges, it will not require the assistance of a tug to transport the ASDS to the Falcon 9 landing zone because it is now totally autonomous. What would you advise Elon Musk to improve about the drone ship? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and whilst you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.